Welcome again, guys. Our video today is about two-stroke diesel engine. A two-stroke diesel engine is an internal combustion engine that uses compression ignition with a two-stroke combustion cycle. The two-stroke diesel engine does not mix fuel or oil with the combustion air. The two-stroke cycle is so cold because it takes two strokes of the piston to complete the process needed to convert the energy in the fuel into work. Because of the engine is reciprocating, the piston moves up and down the cylinder and therefore the crankshaft revolves once. The crankshaft revolves clockwise and the piston moves up the cylinder and when it is at the top of this travel, the piston compresses the charge of air. This is the compression stroke. While the energy is being transferred into the air, the air pressure and temperature are increased. By the time the piston approaches the top of the cylinder, known as top dead center or TDC, the air pressure is over 100 bars and the temperature is over 500 degrees Celsius. Just before the piston reaches the top dead center, fuel is injected into the cylinder by the fuel injector. This fuel is atomized into tiny droplets. Since they are very small, these droplets heat up very quickly and start burning as the piston passes over the top dead center or TDC. Hence, the pressure created by the expanding gases of the combustion of the fuel forces the piston downwards, turning the crankshaft. This is the power stroke. It is during this stroke that work energy is being put into the engine. During the upward stroke of the piston, the engine does the work. Subsequently, as the piston moves downwards the cylinder and nears the bottom of each stroke, the youthful energy from the burning fuel is expanded. At about 100 degrees after TDC, all of the exhaust valves open and the hot exhaust gases begin to rush out of the cylinder relieving the pressure. These gases consist mostly of nitrogen, carbon dioxide, water vapor, and unused oxygen as well. At 140 degrees after the top deck center of TDC, the piston uncovers a set of ports known as scavenge ports. Then, the pressurized air enters the cylinder via these ports, forcing out the remaining exhaust gases from the cylinder in a process known as scavenging. Finally, the exhaust valve closes and the piston starts traveling back upward the cylinder, covering the intake ports and compressing the fresh charge of air, starting once again the compression stroke. In summary, due to the fact that the cycle in a two-stroke engine is completed in one crankshaft rotation, the gas exchange has to occur while the piston is near bottom dead center. Therefore, the end of the combustion stroke and the beginning of the compression stroke happen simultaneously. 
with the intake and exhaust functions occurring at the same time. That's all for today, guys. Thank you very much for your attention. See you next video.